morning. This message is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, everybody. My readings tend to last from reading to reading as far as timing goes. And so what do we have for Cancer? Everything you need to know about the channel is in the box below. <laughs> so that was a mess almost. That was almost a missed opportunity right there. Ace of Wands. All right. So bottom of the deck is page of coins and six of coins. So we're going to talk about giving. We're going to talk about receiving. We're going to talk about this new start. And let's give them something to talk about. The moon right there is really, really bright. This particular, this particular person or entity or whoever this is, they're like a dragon. They are wild, they're mystical, they're a mystical creature. They, they're like a unicorn, there's not really many like them. Okay, it's, they're just stinking awesome, okay? I can't even, whatever. But this Ace of Pentacles, I heard it's loaded. I bet there's a bunch of cards that just went plop. They all just came out together. All right, and I've been shuffling and shuffling and shuffling and talking and whatever. Someone here might like diamonds and things that are sparkly. It makes them, I don't know, happy. <laughs> Everybody likes a little glitter. And it feels like, uh, I don't know, they're like, oh my god, I'm messing with a dragon. But we're talking about, it feels almost like a negotiation. And I barely pulled that back and the Three of Swords is behind there. Somebody may put out an ultimatum. Like this magical, mystical dragon is like, if you want to be my dragon rider, then I'm going to need... You can't do bait and switch with me. Look, there it is again. Like, I can, they're like, I see the bigger image. I see through this. And we're not moving towards my nine, my nine of cups. Like this one here, that's what I'm saying. She's mystical. Meaning, what does that even mean? She's intuitive. She's smart. I'm just saying she because that's a he if that makes any sense. So this could be vice versa. But I'm just, go with me. All right, this energy, they're looking into the future. Like this is like a looking glass. That might've been why I was saying that they like diamonds and pretty things because they want, she wants to be claimed. She wants to be married. She looks really young. And this one here, they might be, they could be older, six to nine years older. Or she does she deserves that she deserves it but she's like that's probably that's why I was saying there was some kind of ultimatum like I'm looking toward what I want in the future and I heard normal I just want a normal life and it's but to normal to her it probably is probably traditional right it needs to be reciprocated six of coins it needs to be something probably laid it out there like, look, with their little hand, they're like, look, don't you see? Like, it's not, I heard it's not unreasonable. <laughs> they're like, I am trying to ride a dragon. Now, why is this, a, what is this? It's justice, so you could be dealing with a Libra, but that might be what's put on the table. Something formal. No wonder I was talking about diamond rings and shit. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. <laughs> no wonder it's loaded. Why did I pick somebody who was so freaking bougie? But it doesn't have to necessarily be about bouginess. She wants traditional. I heard marriage is the key to safety. Someone here could have like a boat. I heard both people have like abandonment issues. But what does that even mean? 
abandonment issues. That's such a trigger. I think that these people don't, they want to be with each other. Like, look, there's two people in this Ten of Cups. But for whatever reason, the burden is only on one person. It's not balanced. It's not reciprocated here. It's three of swords for probably the feminine in this. Because she's the one, there's a feminine image, to and there are masculine images out. Right? So she's the one having to deal with the burden and to having to deal there. Why? Why is that? Why is that? Let's get some crows on it. Why is it more of a burden for the feminine than it is for the masculine to be involved in this? King of Rods. Two of Cups. Because she's waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting maybe for the masculine to heal. I was talking about they both have issues. Everybody has issues. But there's something about this, something about making it formal that's making this one squirrely. But Ten of Cups. There, and then you have Five of Pentacles. See, the, here's the masculine finally showing his ass. Like, she's got me tied. She's got my hands tied. <laughs> He's breaking her heart and she's breaking, she's letting him feel. They might even be seeing ravens and shit. If you vibe with this channel and you're into that raven thing, seeing it all over the place, like I let go of my dragon, king of cups, something strikes them to where they feel something. Well, clearly because this, because all we have so far is the buildup, like this is what it is. Both people realize it's happiness, but it's a lot harder for one person than it is for the other. Like someone here has to deal with more than the other person does. It's heavier for them. And she doesn't have to stay. And someone here, it looks like someone here has called for something official. Tell me about that and why it comes with the Ace of Rods. Justice, wow. Makes the truth known this one here she's innocent causes the innocent to prevail well yeah because she's been dealing with the ten of rods this whole time while this one was whatever so what is it that they want what is it that they ten of pentacles I bet and then under that you have the five of swords it's the desire to know that's what this is Tell me the truth. Are you, are we, is this ever, I want to know. In some way or another, you need to tell me. Like, where is this going? Write that down. Like what? Because that's what the, it feels like. A, it's a stopping one because she's the queen of swords now. She's a dragon. Okay. She's got. <laughs> she can set him on fire if she wants to, but she won't. Where is this going? The Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. You know exactly where this is going. And then you had the King of Swords. So you've got the king and queen of swords out. This could definitely be an air sign or people with air in their chart. Here's Libra twice. But there, I want something real. I really want something real. They called for it, Page of Pentacles. And the fool. It. 
What it I wanna be like, oh yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> like if I I just spat everywhere. Like if you if I don't put a ring on it, what are you gonna do? Like are you gonna leave? Are you gonna What are you gonna do about it? If, but they're not I'm just I, that's me asking, that's not them. I'm just saying, what are they gonna do about it if they decide that they don't want King of Cups? They're if this one here, if this feminine decides to leave, this masculine is going to cling on. Don't leave. Wait a minute. Don't leave. Don't, wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Two of Cups, the Star, the Fool. And then just blindly, because she like, she'll cut their fucking head off. Bye. Not that she wants to, but she keeps coming out as the queen of swords. Like, almost ruthless. Like, look, pal. I've been carrying this ten of rods for however long. You know. <laughs> you want to uh, not nine of cups. Yeah. And then ten of pentacles. You're going to get what you want. But it does feel like a moment in time where that's put on the line. Like, I'm going to, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to leave. I'm out. The chariot. And then three of cups. And then it's like, and then in a hurry, they turn around and make it happen. I'm not really sure how. <coughs> but they do something. Okay, so let's go to the extended and see what they do. Um, the link for that is going to be in the box below to take you to Vimeo, or you can join the membership side of this channel and get all of the extendeds unlimited. We do yoga over there, and all kinds of cool stuff happens. So check us out, and until next time, bye.